Since the war in Israel first broke out, the United States has seen a massive spike in anti-Semitism. But now the Biden administration is developing a national strategy to combat Islamophobia. Yeah, really. Let's discuss with the national president of the Zionist Organization of America, Mort Klein. Thank you so much, Mort, for joining us this afternoon. Great to be here. Let's just take a snapshot of all the anti-Semitic incidents happening across the country. Since Hamas's first terrorist attack on October 7th, there has been around 94 anti-Semitic incidents on U.S. college campuses and another 614 nationwide. These are the ones we, we know of. And yet you have the Biden administration talking about a strategy to combat Islamophobia. What do you think is going on here? This is a disgrace. It frightens me as an American, <clears throat> as a Jew, that he's talking about uh, hatred toward Muslims when almost all of the anti attacks against religious groups is against Jews. <laughs> what President Biden needs to do is make a major speech, making it clear there is no genocide going on by Israel, <laughs> and he must condemn the college students in their rallies. He must condemn that they're calling for the murder of Jews and destruction of Israel, we need a major speech from the president now. And we need college presidents to make similar speeches and make it clear that any student who's involved in rallies uh, where they're calling for Israel's destruction or murdering Jews will be expelled immediately. And they should actually bring in the FBI to take pictures of the, of the students who are attending these rallies uh, to make sure they're not foreign nationals uh, or to find out exactly who they are. And college presidents must remove Students for Justice in Palestine, a, a, a college club which helps organize these rallies against Israel all around the country, lying about Israel, lying about Jews, just as Fordham University did. They're the only university I know that refused to allow them uh, to be a club. So uh, that's among the things that need to be done. I have to say one more thing. Jews and Israeli leaders must make major speeches making it clear there is no occupation. There's never been a country whose name is Palestine. Uh, there's been no, no uh, Palestinian kings or queens. And uh, uh, so it's nonsensical. And they must also make clear, do you know that the Palestinian Authority has been offered a state by Israel four times in the last 20 years, rejected every time because they won't sign right. a clause that says we accept Israel as a Jewish state. Also joining us right now is an advocate for Israel, also a former New York State Assemblyman and founder of Americans Against Anti-Semitism, Dove Hyken. Uh, Dove, what do you make of the fact that if these were people, what do you think? If these people that were protesting in the streets were, say, MAGA Republicans, right, there would be outrage. The FBI would be out there in droves and there would be calls to jail them all. Yet... Here are these people chanting for Jews to be killed, to eradicate Israel, and no one says anything, just saying, oh, it's, it's free speech, you know? They're, they're, this is what they're, they're doing. They're exercising their, their right to say whatever they want. Yeah, thing, things are out of control, basically. Uh, you're absolutely right. You have people in the streets of our country, New York and all over the country. Uh, it is a minority, but you have people who literally advocate violence against Jews, the murder of Jews, the eradication of the state of Israel, openly, not ashamed. This is a phenomenon we really haven't seen ever to this extent. Uh, I get calls literally multiple times a day. Uh, in Brooklyn, just got uh, informed that uh, sheets were, were distributed all over the Jewish community, that we are going to kill the Jews, hateful. This is... It's out of control. And whatever is being reported, I assure you, it is a small percentage of the things that are going on all over the place. And uh, it, it's and by the way, isn't it amazing that the most educated people, supposedly, I mean, educated, right, mm -hmm. uh, finest universities are the most dangerous, uh, n lack of knowledge, lack of information. Uh, it's It's quite extraordinary. But you know what? We are the Jewish people. We are the American people. We can face up to it. We've got to be tough and strong, unafraid, unapologetic. And more last question to you. We have less than a minute left. What do you think should happen to these members of Congress who are accusing Israel, among other things, of conducting a genocide? This is one of the reasons that these types of uh, riots and rallies and problems is because 
Jew haters in Congress like Rashida Tlaib, Ilan Omar, and uh, and and uh, and uh, Cory Bush are making vicious Nazi-like statements. Mm -hmm. They should be immediately uh, uh, censured and removed from every committee. That hasn't happened, and the world and the, uh, the Muslim, radical Muslim world sees this, and it only encourages them. And 81 percent of all attacks on Jews in the social media are being committed by Muslim. There needs to be a revolution in Islam, as the president of al-Sisi has demanded. There is a real problem with Muslims, uh, as Mahmoud right. Ajar, the co-founder of Hamas, said this week. First, it's the Jews. Next, we'll destroy the despicable Christians. Next, we're going to Islamicize the entire world. He said it this week, and it's been ignored. Absolutely. It always starts with the Jews, but it never ends with them. Morton and Dove, thank you so much for joining us.